So raw meat, here we go. Tom, bison tenderloin, my favorite thing to make tartare with. It, so it looks good. Yeah, well it's your it's your product, so I can't <laughs> wait to cut into it. First I just want to show the camera. As you were saying, how fantastically lean this product is. And the great thing about bison tenderloin for tartare is the leanness of it, because I can layer all the flavors on top of it. What I'm gonna do is chop a little bit of that, but first what I wanna make is a smoked tomato dressing to go along with this tartare. So we have some of our tomatoes that we smoked earlier. We're gonna put those in our blender, maybe about half a pound. Just lightly smoked, they're gonna give that rustic flavor to what we're looking for, which is fantastic. A little bit of tomato paste. The tomato paste is gonna give it a little bit of body. Some fresh thyme. A little bit of our red water spice. And then of course, our garlic oil, which we love to use our roasted garlic oil. Tomato paste is also gonna add as our emulsifier. And then to this, we're gonna add a little bit of salt, some black pepper, and then some red wine vinegar to give it a little bit of acidity. It'll also thin it out just a little bit, but you can see that ruby red color, it's absolutely gorgeous. So we're gonna turn that off. All right, so we'll give this a quick taste. Well, Ned, I'm good for something. Yeah, <laughs> sure, I'll give you a quick taste. Oh, good. Absolutely. I, was, I was hoping for that. Yeah, there you go. Mm. Smoked tomatoes. That is great. Unbelievable. That is you know, great. normally, Tom, I have this fantastic barbecue beside me or in front of me or behind me, and it keeps me warm. But I'm a little chilly out here tonight, <laughs> so I think I just need to get to work and start chopping some, some tartare here. Well, that's one way to get warm, but the other way is to eat some of that meat because protein actually produces more heat in your body than does fat or carbohydrates. Oh, wow, I did not know that. Lots of energy tied up in those uh, protein molecules as you break them down inside your body. So in this tartare, we have just our fine diced bison tenderloin, and all we're going to add to that is some flavor. So I had some pre-done already. I'm going to add some fine chopped red onion, a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of our kosher salt, some chopped fresh cilantro, some whole capers, and again, adding as much of this as you want. If you don't like capers, don't add capers. If you really like garlic, add garlic. We're gonna add a little bit of roasted garlic, whole roasted garlic cloves, just because I love roasted garlic. We're gonna add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, like such, and then some of our horseradish Dijon mustard. And this is actually from a low supplier as well getting that mixed together to finish just a touch of the roasted garlic oil, just to give it a little bit of sheen. And again, of course, always trying to add those flavors. A Little bit of our red wine vinegar. Need a little bit of acidity just to pick up all those flavors. All right, so we're just gonna finish mixing this up, give it a quick taste for seasoning. Mm. Not only is that wild, it's rawsome. Well, you know, that's the only way I like to eat bifolo is uh, raw. Really? We, well, when we cook steaks, we don't cook them any more than rare. Well, the family looks pretty healthy, so I, don't, I imagine they get to eat quite well. Well, this looks great, Ned. Yeah, this is, this is a fantastic dish when it comes together. So we're just going to pull the mold like that and get our smoked tomato dressing. Put some on the plate, just like so. Maybe a little on top. A couple of our gherkins, like so. Maybe a wafer or two. Just like that. And then last but not least, a little bit of our red water spice around the plate. Wow. wow. So did I treat the product well? Oh, it looks great. You did really well. That's Thank great. You. Thank you very much. We can't wait to try it.